Welcome to the final video of this business tax series, and we're talking about self-employment tax today. We're going to talk about what it is, who has to pay it, how much it is, and how to pay it. What is self-employment tax? Self-employment tax is the tax that you pay on your net profit from your business, from typically your Schedule C or your partnership. It's essentially the replacement of the payroll taxes you pay if you were a W-2 employee for someone else. Next, how much is self-employment tax? Self-employment tax is gonna be 15.3% of your net business income. So again, it is a percentage of profit. Of that 15.3%, 12.4 is gonna be your social security, and 2.9 is gonna be your Medicare. If you watched my payroll tax video, which I think was part one of this series, we talked all about payroll and FICA and Medicare and social security, self-employment tax essentially is just that. It's that for self-employed business owners. It's important to keep in mind that this 15.3% in self-employment taxes is on top of your income tax that you're paying. So next, who pays self-employment tax? Self-employment tax is paid by anybody who has self-employment income. If you have a Schedule C business or if you are in a partnership, then you will have self-employment tax to pay if you have income from those businesses. So fun fact, uh, no, hashtag not so fun fact, you can actually have a zero dollar income tax bill on your tax return and still owe self-employment tax. So how does that happen? Let's use an example. Let's say you had $10,000 in net profit from your Schedule C business, right? That $10,000 is going to be subject to self-employment tax. So you're gonna owe $1,530, it's 15.3% of self-employment tax on that $10,000 of Schedule C self-employment income. But then you guys, you get that standard deduction, right? You get a standard deduction of $12,400. So that standard deduction is gonna bring your taxable income down to zero. So you won't owe any income tax on it, yay, but you still owe that darn self-employment tax. So finally, we wanna talk about how you pay your self-employment taxes. So your self-employment taxes, you guys are actually paid in the exact same way you pay your income taxes. So if you make quarterly estimated tax payments, those estimated quarterly tax payments should take into consideration your income tax and your self-employment tax. If you don't end up making those quarterly estimated payments, then when you file your 1040, that's when you'll end up paying your self-employment tax. We, of course, always recommend those quarterly estimated tax payments, you guys, because by making those throughout the year, not only do you help your cash flow for your business and your personal you know, bank accounts, but you can actually avoid what's called an underpayment penalty that you're gonna be assessed if you wait until April 15th. And you guys, although you can make these payments by mail, you can write a check and print out a payment voucher and stick it in an envelope and mail it off using the postal system, I don't recommend that. If you do, I definitely recommend doing some sort of tracking to make sure that it actually gets to the IRS. But what I really, really recommend is that you make these payments online. Um, you can go to irs.gov to make your federal payments and then your, ooh, I said Colorado, but not all of you are in Colorado. You can go to your state revenue department and make your state income tax payments there. Doing it online has much better tracking and it gets posted right away. If you guys have any questions about what we talked about today, go ahead and leave a comment below. And then I highly, highly suggest you head on over to our Facebook community, Money, Taxes, and Finance for Small Business, because these topics are what we talk about on a regular basis and have live trainings on every week. You can access that group by clicking the link in the description box. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and while you're loving on me hard, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you never miss a future video.